Hello everyone, I'm Vaughn Wolf and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Your support will help grow this channel and I very much appreciate it. Here in today's episode, we'll be making an easy vegan vegetable soup. Now let's dive into the ingredients. Uh, right here is a close up of some garlic and some ginger. Now I don't normally use garlic uh, as much, but uh, you can always substitute it for ginger and in this recipe we'll be doing ginger um, That's curry leaves right there. I happen to be in India at the time if you don't You can't find curry leaves and you can use coriander or cilantro uh, Those are white button mushrooms. We'll be using some onion some bell pepper and also some sweet corn here uh, potatoes It's a good staple for any uh, vegetable soup. Uh, we'll be dicing up some tomatoes. Uh, that's a carrot and cabbage here. A quarter of a medium cabbage. Dicing that really uh, fine. Some string beans. Uh, and as far as like what we're gonna be spicing it with, this is a uh, uh, curry powder that I made, which I'll be including in another video. But that's olive oil, salt, and black mustard seeds. Now you can see here, these are all whole foods, which I encourage you to cook with. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this recipe right here. We're gonna be cooking a delicious whole food vegetable soup. And here we start off with our garlic and ginger. Uh, we're gonna be throwing those in first with these diced tomatoes and onions and bell peppers. These beautiful button mushrooms are gonna go in whole. And these are the rest of the veggies. You can see we cut these very small. Uh, I peeled the skins off the carrots and the potatoes. Here's another glorious shot of some white button mushrooms. Mushrooms are delicious. If you haven't tried mushrooms lately, give it another shot. I've fallen back in love with mushrooms and I think you will enjoy them too. You can see this cabbage is diced really small. Let's get cooking. In with the oil, mustard seeds. Drop in the curry leaves and the garlic. Let that sizzle for a little bit. This is a glorious sound right here. It's, it's warming to the soul and the heart. Next, we're gonna drop in our onions. Now, the idea here is we're gonna cook this down to the onions are translucent. Once you get to this stage, go ahead and add in the rest of your bell peppers. And tomatoes. And we're gonna plop in those white bun mushrooms too. We wanna cook this down. Uh, we're gonna add some salt. Oh, and I did forget to add that uh, when you are sauteing the onions, make sure that you salt those onions. Um, that's gonna add some flavor to them. Uh, here we're gonna add in our uh, curry powder, or if you don't have this curry powder, you can use cumin powder. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we're gonna cover this and let this cook down a little bit. We'll come back and check on this in about five minutes. All right, so those are cooked down the way that we like them. And we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our diced vegetables here. In with the corn, carrots, potatoes, and diced green beans. Add some more salt and seasoning to this. And don't forget the cabbage. Once that's all in the pot, 
We'll top it off with some water and put it back on the stove. When you first add the water, uh, make sure to turn the heat up and bring this to a boil. After it's been done and it's been boiling, we can turn the uh, temperature back down and just let that simmer. Uh, but for now, we're gonna set this on high and bring this to a boil. We'll come back and check on this once it's boiling. All right, it's been a few minutes and you can see things are going crazy in the pot here. We'll give this a good stir and we'll reduce the heat, uh, put the cover back on, and let this thing sit for the next hour, hour and a half on a low heat. Alright, soup's ready. We brought this to a friend's house for a potluck and you can see we have a lot to share. Uh, everything is cooked perfectly. Smells delicious. Those mushrooms are looking very good. And I am excited to try this. Here's the final product. If you stuck around to the end, I want to thank you very much for looking at my video and my recipe. I plan to bring you more vegan recipes. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.